Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. If you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Now, thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscribes, your comments, your emails. Please know that my emails for readings are closed. If you send me an email now, um, I won't be looking at it for the next couple of weeks just while I am going through all of the people that have asked for readings. I've got so many coming through. Um, you can prompt me again. If you send me an email now, you can actually prompt me again when they're open again and you'll be at the top of the list. Um, there was something, I've got this song stuck in my head by Adele, All I Ask. And the lyrics that were stuck in my head and I had to listen to it is, if this is my last night with you, hold me like I'm more than just a friend. Give me a memory I can use. Take me by the hand while we do what lovers do. It matters how this ends. Because what if I never love again? So there's somebody here who's asking for a mercy. How's your father, so to speak? Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to do my legal disclaimers. Get them out of the way. And then we can crack on with the rest of the reading and find out who's got this Adele song, you know, vibrating through them. So, I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a good day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. So, legal disclaimers. Please know that all of my readings, both personal and on and collective ones, are for entertainment purposes only. You must use your common sense and discernment while listening to my readings and, and the actions are there are therefore after. Um, oh, I haven't taken my, my vitamins. I'm very distracted today, I've noticed this. One second. Mm. also know that if i say he she masculine or feminine i'm just picking up on energies it's really up to you and your story and your discernment whether or not you place genders whether you swap those genders around whether you get rid of the genders or whether you leave it as what you hear it from moi uh what else was gonna say i'm really distracted today really there's a lot of buzzy energy coming through and I, I don't know if it, this is not my energy, so I don't know if it's my energy because my energy can be a little bit distracted sometimes. This person is giving me someone from the past, maybe they're very distracted, maybe they can't think at the moment because all they're thinking about is you or someone from the collective. Because this song, um, All I Ask, and I'll, I'll put it in the link down below so you can have a listen to it. The first comment underneath says, oh my gosh, this song makes me feel like I've broken up with my imaginary boyfriend. So it's, <laughs> this is very much, um, someone has broken up with this person. This could have been, you know, last month, it could have been 10 years ago, but this person cannot get over someone in the collective. That's what I'm getting, all right? Anything that comes up in my readings that pertains to law, finance, mental health or physical health, know that I'm not a professional and I'm not qualified in those areas, and I don't claim to be. Um, if it really resonates for you, please make sure that you're reaching out to those appropriate services before taking any advice from moi. Thank you very much. And let's crack on, shall we? Why did I pick this one up? Ooh, in a dis discovery, finding sacredness, you are what you seek. This person may want atonement. They want something. They want, they want a pity. They want a pity shag. They literally do. It's almost like, oh, this phone my dad one second dad i'm filming at the moment i'm filming at the moment are you okay well no i've got a chronic um migraine actually oh jesus um yes um but it will have to be uh what two o'clock maybe two Okay, I hope you feel better, Dad. That's okay. I love you. Feel better. Feel better. Bye. Sorry about that. My dad's got a massive migraine and he's feeling like crap. He was just phoning to find out if we're going for our coffee tomorrow because we go for one every week just to you know tap in now i digress see there's a lot of distractions coming through this person may feel very distracted i don't think that they're working i don't know why that came through they're not working or if they're working they're making mistakes because they're thinking about someone in the collective a lot like a lot now <clears throat> let me crack on and put that down there you are to this person 
um, you're like the one that got away or someone in a collective is the one that got away. You are seen as the Holy Grail. It's given me like the Ace of Cups, the cup runneth over. Memories of Atlantis, spiritual acceleration, progress, technology. You guys may have had like um, past lives together. It doesn't mean that you guys are twin flames. I'm not even picking that up. But there, there are certain people or certain energies or souls that we have more than one lifetime with because there's things that we need to learn from each other and we do that together. It, sometimes our paths will be short, sometimes they'll be long. Um, this person cannot get over someone in the collective. They literally cannot. You make them feel safe. There's something about safety. Are you making them feel safe? Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trusting the process and dharma. I, I feel like somebody already knew that this this was coming to be because I feel like there is, I had the art of detachment. Someone's learned the art of detachment. Um, I don't know. This other person seems a bit needy though. Like this person is needy in some way. Maybe they're not used to being like that, or maybe they've always been like that, but they're feeling very needy. I didn't ring my lovely lady bell. Let me do that right now, okay? All right, if you do not like really high-frequency sounds, please turn down your volume now. That's so loud. I'm really being called to go over here, to this one here. Okay. This did not do that properly. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. This is somebody who, um, I feel like they're either watching someone from a distance and they're falling in love with them, or they're watching them fall in love with someone else. And this may be why they are kind of like, this can't be the end. Let's have one more night. Let me at least kiss you one more time. It's that kind of energy. Someone's almost like love drunk. Because where I put this with the Holy Grail, the Holy Grail, you know, when you think of like mythology and, and and stuff like that isn't the holy grail supposed to be that 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 glass or that chalice of of eternal youth and it's it's reminding me of indiana jones and i can't remember which film it is when they go into that cave and it has all these different chalices and he has to figure out which one is the holy grail which one is it and they're all shiny and different and it's giving me like youth i don't know if this person when they were around you or someone in the collective they felt more youthful or they felt more um, childlike. Either you may have nurtured them or you may have helped them to kind of tap into their inner child because it says, trust in me, trust in us, I'm coming back for you and it's upside down. And then you have hammer as well. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, re repetitive, persistent and working on it. This is the type of energy of somebody who, even though we have that Adele song coming out with all I ask is, you know, Give me one more night where we pretend that we, we still love each other. Because the start of that song, it talks about, um, we both know, we already both know it's ending, it's, it's done. Um, but let's pretend, let's just play pretend. Now, I don't know if this is for you. I've said you, so it must be. Our new beginning is so close. This person, an addiction. You know in your heart I'm always there. Mm, okay, this person surrendered to this situation, bruh. I can't wait for the day I can call you my wife. Well, well. See, if this was like a romantic kind of connection, you'd be like, oh my gosh, this is so lovely. But <laughs> this is the opposite. This is like, um, it's not a missed opportunity. This is literally a relationship that broke down. It's broken down. And it could be that it's playing out now. This is someone that you're breaking up from now, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting that this is past. And this person, and I told you, with that holy grail and then kisses, and then you've got addiction coming out. Someone's addicted to your energy, your solar plexus, this, this sun energy. You make things grow or someone in the collective makes things grow. And it says codependent obsession, possession, controlling, has a black restraint. Didn't I say about codependency? I said that someone is needy. Someone here is needy. And they, they're addicted to kind of sabotaging their own relationships. But now they're trying to rebuild this. And they're persistent in what? Surrender to the situation. You know in your heart I am always there. Our new beginning is so close. So this person, this is the kind of energy of um, I want a pity shag, but actually I'm trying to get back into your good books. And you've got dates upside down. 
meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan and set a date, and it's upside down. This is not meeting someone new. This is meeting someone from the past. The beginning is so close. I don't like the energy. We're going to find out a bit more. You know in your heart I'm always there. I feel like this person's a little bit delulu. Surrender to the situation. I don't know if this is someone in the past that it was an on-off, on-off relationship. And this person's trying to come back in again. But something's changed within someone in the collective. They're no longer allowing their barriers or their standards to be low. And that's not me judging in any way, shape or form. Because we've all been there. Where, you know, um, it's, what is it? Once bitten... Once bitten, fall on, shame on me, but twice it's shame on you or something along those lines. I can't wait for the day I'll call you my wife. This is what I mean though, because the, the song that we started off with, with Adele was talking about, we know, let's not play pretend, let's just have a pity shag and then we can go on and at least I have that memory. And this person's like, I can't wait for the day to make you my wife. This is what I mean by Delulu, heart and healing heart, healing from heartache, um, heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Somebody's moved on, and I feel like this person, they won't accept it. And it says here, get the F out of your head. Get in your heart, it misses you. This person is stuck in their head. You are talented and, and effing amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice, just don't use it for dumb ish. I honestly feel also that this person, maybe they were not... Um, when whoever this was that was with this person they were not very vocal on kind of like cheerleading or going oh my gosh that's an amazing achievement look what you did there seemed to be a lot of focus on this person or they focused on themselves and with addiction coming out i don't know if they had um there was substance addiction substance abuse and addiction doesn't always have to just be to do with um substances it can literally be addiction to self-pity addiction to martyrdom addiction to um wanting that kind of um argument the only way to communicate is to shout at each other get over yourself and pull your ish together serious help people give back do ish good ish for humanity so this person may be trying to i feel like there is a voice in their head telling them get yourself together sort yourself out to sort yourself out believe what you see is upside down Go easy on your ASS. Buy your own darn drink. You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Why am I getting like a club now? This person being in a club with who? Believe what you see. Face reality or live in effing La La Land. Choose bravely. So this person is living in La La Land. This person, I feel like this person drinks a lot. I don't know if they're in pubs quite a lot or bars. Why am I being shown this? Because this is weird. That one. No, over there, okay. Tell me about this energy. Why have we been shown this? Why have we been shown this person? This Adele song. You have the Emperor in reverse because this person seems to be falling apart and you've got the King of Wands. They are very essentially attracted to someone here. But it is because of what they can give them. Because you've got the Queen of Pentacles coming out as well. The Queen, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very abundant, but they're very good with manifesting money, manifesting in prosperity. They're very good at nurturing and building something, anything, anything they put their mind to. Um, this is giving me very Empress vibes as well. You've got Ten of Pentacles underneath. And then you've got Ten of Cups in reverse. This person, I don't know, this person may be obsessed with um, someone in the collective finding another love finding someone else they can't stop thinking about this they cannot stop thinking about this because you've got the ten of pentacles here right and then you have the ten of cups in reverse mm, this is like happy home life it looks like it's a happy home life but it's not who is this person they've done something what have they done what did they do death in reverse to cups in reverse this person definitely drinks this person definitely drinks and there's nothing look you know what i don't drink alcohol it's not my bag it used to be when i was young guys to go out raving and get really drunk and be stupid and stuff like that but it just doesn't agree with my body anymore and it doesn't agree with my vibrations but some people like to have a, a tipple now and again and you're allowed to do so i mean i'm 
I'm not giving you permission, but what I mean is there's nothing wrong with having that now and again. But this person here, there's a difference between going, I'm going to go to the pub and have one and hang out with my mates to I'm going to go and sit there by myself and drink until I can't walk anymore, until I can't remember anything. That's when you have a problem and that's when you need to seek help, right? Now you've got here the king of swords to the death card. This person, they feel guilty. There's something about like, um, they're obsessively thinking about someone in the collective, be that you or the person you're thinking of. But also they are reliving something that they have done behind this person in the collective's back. Because you've got the king of swords in reverse. This is something illegal. This is something immoral when it comes to money and business. Queen of Pentacles, they see you as being very, um, and that's irrespective of gender, being very good at manifesting. And that's what came up before. And then you've got the 10, not the 10, excuse me, the eight of swords in reverse and the death card. This is worry for them as well, because this person may have been, ah, what were they doing with someone else? They were celebrating about teething up some money, taking some money, doing something with money, with this 10 of pentacles, but it wasn't all um, celebrations and happiness and blah, 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 blah. This person, I don't know if they have a child with this, with whoever it is they were doing this with, or if they have a child with you. Because this Ten of Cups with the child and the pets and everything there and everyone's looking all happy and hunky-dory, with it being upside down, I don't know if this, this person from the past, and I'm getting masculine energy, they don't have to be a man, but if this masculine from the past, they were doing something with either an ex-lover or they were doing something with... Apologies for that um, little disturbance there. There's something going on with this person from the past when it comes to either their child or something being held over their head. Because this Ten of Coins to the Ten of Cups in reverse... This is like a double entendre. How can you have one that is so happy and, you know, celebratory, but then you have the actual family and they're either broken apart, they're not talking to each other, or it's a fake, it's a fake kind of happiness. And that's what I was getting here. And I didn't quite get it at first, but this Queen of Pentacles, they've been taking something from this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, they've been taking something from this Queen of Pentacles in the past. I don't know if they're doing it anymore, but this is something that may have got out of control or out of this masculine's hands because the King of Swords in reverse to the Death card, I feel like this um, this masculine with this Death card in reverse, this is like, this is continuing, this is continuing a cycle. This is continuing something that is really not good for them. They may have been forced to do so, but you've also got um, the Eight of Swords in reverse. That is um, removing some sort of trap, some sort of mental trap, doing something. Now, when I put these three together, this is telling me that whatever this masculine was doing, at some point it was to set someone up. It may have been to set this Queen of Pentacles up, but this Queen of Pentacles has been able to sidestep something and it's not coming back. It's not coming back. So this may be why they're drinking themselves into a stupor as well. Because they were celebrating at, at some point. They were celebrating at some point. But they're not anymore. There may have been something that... Who, there's, there's, a, there's a feminine that they've been working with. And again, it could be the mother of their child. It could be the father of their child. It was, you know, to irrespective of gender you've got to put it as it as it fits tell me more what are they planning ace of cups is in reverse eight of wands is in reverse yeah i'm telling you because you've got the empress underneath i'm sorry because she's got all her bits out it's a very saucy card empress is here Eight of Wands to the um, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is usually about your cup running over, just like this Holy Grail at the start. You know, in a discovery, finding sacredness, you are the one you seek. This beautiful energy that's pouring down. Gold, abundance, youth, whatever that may be. And then you have this cup upside down that is fully and utterly empty. I don't know what they've been doing when it comes to money. 
but it's got out of control of this masculine's hands. It's, it's got out of control. And this person has gone from... They've gone from judging someone. I don't know what why they were judging someone in the collective or why they chose to do something here. I do feel like their hand was twisted a little bit, but you know what? We all have choices. No one, when people go, I didn't have a choice, we always have a choice. There's a choice to either do that or not to do that. And this person decided to do it. But whatever they have done has left them with their cup completely dry. They were trying to take something from this empress. Because you've got Empress here, who's also this, oh, sorry, boobies, this Empress and this. And I did say that that Queen of Pentacles has Empress vibes. They were trying to disempower someone. I heard make you feel how you made me feel. I don't know if you walked away from, I'm going to turn that one around. I don't know if you walked away from this person, if they ghosted you or you ghosted them. Or it was just the end of a relationship. And that song coming back to Adele, it's talking about, you know, I know that we don't love each other anymore, but can we just pretend that we do for one more night? This person may have felt very, um, it's like they felt burnt, they felt rejected. But they were doing something before the relationship ended, is what I'm getting. They were doing something before this relationship ended. I don't know if you supported your partner financially and they were just giving that money to someone else. But there's more than that because that may have been the way it started. You may have been, let's say, financially supporting your partner and they were spending part of it and then giving the other half maybe as child maintenance so they could see their kid. Well, I don't know. There's something there. But then it changed and it went further. I, if there was distance in the relationship, this is when whoever this feminine is came in and was like, we need to do A, B and C. You do understand that, right? We need to do this and blah, blah, blah. And we'll make all this money. Celebrate, celebrate. We'll make all this money. I heard you just need to get a signed document or you need to get a signed something. So there you've got a masculine here who was doing something while they were either in the relationship with someone in the collective or near the tail end of it. But they've been blocked from this disempowerment towards whoever this Queen of Wands is. The moon. And then you've also got here, Six of Chalices in reverse. This person's really upset about a new start or a new person coming in. They can feel a new person coming in. How is that possible? Especially when you have, you know, I'm, you know in your heart I am always there. So this person is constantly trying to project their energy towards someone here. They may be doing it with intention or not realising they're doing it with intention. Because if this person is obsessively and addictively thinking about you or someone in the collective, they're projecting their energy over towards you or whoever that is in the collective, right? This person, they're aware that someone's energy has changed. Or that you have changed. That what used to, um, what used to trigger you doesn't trigger you anymore. Or whatever those buttons were aren't there anymore there's six of cups in reverse this is a new person coming in the moon is to do with your emotions but also with what what is hidden and then you have the king of wands this is the reason why they wanted to come in and sleep with someone this is why they were like you know just give me a pity shag because they wanted to what were they doing here what did they expect to do Give her what? Give them what? They want to do something to someone's health. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. And Magician. They wanted to steal money as well. Steal money and youth is what I heard. Money and youth. Now you've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is stopping... Stopping giving money away. What the... Flip is this, the magician in reverse, this is not having any resources. They wanted to take money. They are worried that you're giving your money to someone or that you will give your money to someone. There may be a big win coming in for someone here and they wanted to be there to make sure that it wasn't given away or gifted to others or given to charity because they know what type of person you are. Um, 
and they don't want that. They they want to keep the money. Why are they so obsessed with this money? Money, money, money. They wanted to block this charity. Why do they want to block the charity? For what reason? Six of Wands. Five of Coins in reverse to the Four of Cups. Because they wanted to control. This is very much about trying to come in and control. The Six of Wands is about um, victory. But it's also to do with marriage. So this that's why we had that card coming out saying, I can't wait for you to be my wife. Weird energy, right? I can't wait for you to be my flipping wife. This person wanted to come in and be like, ah, I'm, I'm healing from this heartbreak, you know, the freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. And we've got addictions over there. Yeah, I'm cleaning myself up. I no longer speak to my baby mama or my baby daddy. I no longer blah, blah, blah. I'm looking after my child. I have them with me or something like that and surrender to this situation. What are they sending? What are they sending? Because they're coming in. They want to come in as non-confrontational as possible. With this five of coins to the five of ones in reverse, they're trying to get... Oh, I've got a really itchy nose. I'm really sorry. But they, there's this energy of pretending that they don't owe something or they're not in trouble when it comes to finances. Trying to come in all chipper and stuff like that. But they surrender to the situation. There may be some sort of sensual magic that's going on. But I don't really get that at the moment. They surrender to the situation with date in reverse. This person isn't interested in dating you. They want to sleep with someone here. Why is it so important that they sleep with someone? This is like a transaction. It's almost like, I don't know if they're aware that you are the Holy Grail, that you have this energy. Or if it's just something that when they're around you, they become lucky, they become really good. I heard at gambling, or they're really good with their money, or money just comes in for them. People are really positive. Things go right. Things go right. And it's because of your energy. And when they sided with whoever this other person was, that's when their cup ended up dry empty 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 so this person there's something also about wanting to do this to get out of trouble with the law and i don't know what they've done but they want to control some sort of marriage because look you've got judgment in reverse they've got negative negative things coming towards them negative things coming towards them and you've got the page of wands here as well this is giving me prison vibes because the page of wands is somebody who is looking out into the horizon, who's waiting for the next adventure that wants to go out and explore. And that's an expansive energy. That's a very freeing energy of kind of like buying a ticket and just flying somewhere and going and experiencing that place for a week, for a month, for a year, whatever, and then moving on to somewhere else. When it's upside down, this is about caution. This is about um, restriction and limitation or having limits. So, excuse me, I don't even know if that's a word, limitation. Um, but you have judgment here and you have the page of wands in reverse. And then you have the eight of chalices. This person, they've signed something. They did something when it comes to illegality. They had, to, I don't know if they had to give some sort of proof. Because the Hierophant for me, El Papa, I love that it says El Papa, Le Papa, Il Papa in um, like romantic languages because it's on the top. I don't know if you can see it from here. The daddy. The daddy, right? <laughs> the Hierophant is the daddy in like Spanish. That's amazing. Right. Um, Sorry, I'm getting distracted again. They've done some, they've, they've, they've agreed to something or they've run away from something because the Hierophant is about higher learning, but it's also to do with higher, like large institutions that could be caught. And then you have eight of chalices, which is something that's very emotional and you're leaving it. So this person's run away from something. They may have a warrant out for their arrest. They may have skipped bail. And this is why this person's coming. This is why this person's coming forward so urgently. There's something about getting your energy in some way or getting you back in some way, but not because they want to be with you, because they know that there's it's just not going to happen. It's more to, it's strategic. 
It's strategic. If they're running from the police or they're running from an investigation or they've skipped bail, I honestly feel like the skipping of bail has to do with you, with this Queen of Pentacles. Whatever it is that they were arrested for or whatever it is that this woman is out for, it's because of fraudulent embezzlement, money laundering, ID theft, I don't know. But they've been, they've been doing this with this other person. They've been doing it with this other person. And them coming towards this Queen of Pentacles... I don't know why they're doing that or why they feel that this would be their way out of this judgment in reverse to this um, page of pentacles in reverse. It doesn't make any sense to me just yet because they're stuck in something. What are they stuck in? Tell me the hierophant of the ace of chalices. Clarity, please. Clarity. Ace of swords. Okay, so they found out a truth when it came to um, court hearings, court papers. Something that this person they've been working with told them. And they're finding out the truth and it was very overwhelming. It was very overwhelming. And they're realising that they've put themselves in hot bother. They've put themselves in some really hot water. And I don't know why they feel like coming towards this Queen of Pentacles will fix it for them. They feel like it will fix it for them. That this person can undo something. Like what? Like what? This one? Okay. What can they undo? What can they undo? Six of Swords. And it's weird, I should have showed that other card on this one because that's exactly what I saw was the Six of Swords. And that's why I was like, there's something is stuck. They're stuck with evidence of some sort, resources of some sort that, um, what's the word, incriminate them. Because the magician's coming out, this is all the resources that you need. This could be magic. But this six of swords in reverse is being stuck somewhere that you don't like. Stuck in tumultuous water or energies or environments that just aren't very comfortable, aren't very nice. It's not being able to move on or move away. So this person is not able to run away from what they've done. And this eight of chalices to the hierophant, something was very overwhelming and they wanted to stick their head in the sand or they ran away from it. And they want to come, they want to tell you their side of the story before it comes out. I heard either in the newspaper or nationally or something along those lines. They want you to hear it from them. And they want to kind of, it's almost like manipulate the way that you view what happened. And that's why they want to come in with this, you know, let's get jiggy jiggy. Because they're trying to connect their energy to yours. They could be aware that they're doing this. Or it could just be that they know that when they sleep with people, they're able to, I don't know, manipulate them better, gaslight them better. You know in your heart I am always there. This person's trying to plant some sort of seed. They're trying to plant some sort of seed in someone's mind. Now you've got the Emperor in reverse and you've got the King of Wands. This person's world is falling around them. Now you've got an Emperor in reverse to the Queen of Chalices. This is going back to somebody who was almost... You know when you hear that the, the, the word of a sofa parent or a couch parent? Somebody who just sits on the sofa and yells at their kids. And they could be up two stories, or, you know, up two floors. And they're just there going, Brandon! Brandon! It's like, get off your ass. Why are you sitting on the sofa watching your soaps, screaming at someone who's two floors up? They may be at the back and you're just shouting at them and shouting. And when they come in, they're like, yeah, can you go and get that vacuum and vacuum over there for me, please? What? Get up and do it yourself. That's the energy that I'm getting from this. This emperor in reverse to the queen of chalices. There's this energy of this queen of chalices. Maybe when they were in a relationship doing more, or doing the house chores, or there's there's willful ignorance or weaponized ignorance coming from this um, emperor. There's also a lot of anger coming from this emperor because they left too soon. I heard they left too soon. This queen of pentacles may have only been seen as like a page of pentacles by this emperor in reverse. They may have only seen them as. But any money that they made, there's jealousy coming in here as well. Any money that was made by this Queen of Chalices was seen as competition by the person they were dating and either taken care of or 
It seems like this Queen of, of Pentacles was the provider in the household. They were provider in the household and this this emperor didn't mind that because they could buy drinks. There's something going on with alcohol, lots and lots and lots of alcohol. And you've got the King of Wands here. What did they do? What did they stop themselves from doing? Tell me more about the King of Wands to the Emperor, please, in reverse. Next to the King of Swords in reverse. Clarity, please. Clarity on the table. Five of Swords. Eight of Wands. So there is some sort of um, confrontation that this person may have or may have had that's left them properly flipping stressed out. Oh, my giddy aunt, you are the best thing to ever happen to you. This person, I don't know if this person needs to have their mental health checked, maybe. Remember, I'm not a therapist, but the energy that's coming out is very all over the place. At some point, they were planning to bring something to someone's doorstep that would bring in a lot of stress. It was confrontation or fight energy, argument energy. Nine of Swords here is all about distress. Surrender to this situation, to this stress. Then you have the Eight of Wands, which is fast moving energy. And you have the Five of Swords. So I have a feeling that whoever it was that they were working with may have been the one who was like the mastermind with spell work or stuff like that, because it keeps coming up, but it's not coming from this masculine. I feel like it's coming from whoever they were working with, whoever this feminine energy is. Tower. There is this energy of trying to create constant stress in someone, constant flipping stress. Like having their anxiety so high that they can't tell what is reality and what isn't. Or that someone's so paranoid because the Seven of Cups is about fantasy, illusion. It's about choices. This is not trusting some themselves, not trusting yourself. And blocking all options that come through. For what reason? So what was this person doing? For the reason of control, money, money and control and strength. Again, it's to do with your solar plexus and it's to do with how you manifest. It's how you manifest. Tell me about this feminine energy. Tell me about the feminine energy, please and thank you. Wheel of Fortune to the Four of Pentacles. This person likes to control how abundance comes in. So I have a feeling this feminine is the one that knows more when it comes to energy, manifestation, controlling, and so on and so forth, how to deplete people's energy to get what they want, how they place burdens by bur placing burdens or challenges in front of someone's someone's path, because the ten of wands is about burdens, the, the nine of pentacles is about wish fulfillment, and then you have the strength card in reverse, which is self-explanatory. This person was harvesting. They were energy harvesting. They may have been using their child as a pawn, almost like you do as you're told, or you don't get to see your kid. I don't know if this, um, who they were working with, were they sleeping with them? Were they sleeping with them? They may have been sleeping with them as well. But this is weird, it's a story, you've got Ten of Pentacles, yeah, they were sleeping with them. They may have been using SEX magic. I don't know if this masculine was aware that it was SEX magic. Ew, you've got the Queen of Wands, so yes, and the Chariot. This is how this person transmuted negative energy. This is how this, this feminine transmuted negative energy, but they were transmuting, they may have been passing it on to this masculine, because you've got the King of Cups in reverse, leaving this person feeling ice cold. Ice cold? And you've got the Queen of Cups as well in reverse. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anything else before I go? Okay, let's have a look. Time for a change to learn something new to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So this was also hacking something and we're here. I heard a Trojan horse. A Trojan horse. So someone is trying to place some sort of hex curse or something on a gift so it looks lovely on the outside but it attacks your pow on the inside right so what is it look at this intoxication intoxication distorted view and overindulgence 
Magical Space Clementine. That's weird though, right? Because if it was this way, it would literally say that something's been sent. But with it being this way, somebody has been cleansing. Someone released their power, right? They let go of something. They let go of something. And it's bound to someone else. It's bound to someone else. Is it the masculine? This feminine over here was using this masculine almost like a, um, a, a scapegoat. They were using them to get to this queen of pentacles. But why? For what reason? Why? Why? Ancient wisdom. Because they, they couldn't get... There was something that you knew or something that this queen of pentacles does to manifest. They're thinking that it is some sort of technique or there is something that your elders or ancestors give you. And they're not realizing that it's actually part of your blueprint. You were created that way for a reason, because when we go back down to this part of the reading and we were talking about this masculine being worried, they wanted to come in because they're worried that whatever finances, abundance or prosperity that's coming to you, you're going to be paying it forward. You're going to be, of course, keeping some for yourself, investing some, saving some, but also sharing it with those around you that helps them to shine so that they can shine and they can help other people to shine. It's paying it forward. And they don't want that happening. They're not realizing that this is part of your blueprint is to have certain amounts of prosperity, wealth and abundance because it helps not only you, but it helps the, the collective consciousness. It's not just about sitting there counting all your pennies going ha 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 like a, like a miser or like a curmudgeon, you know, counting all his pennies and not giving one penny to a starving person outside. That's not the point of getting all of these blessings. It is to help um, yourself, but also help those around you. And this person doesn't realize this. They want to know how is it that you are getting this finances? How are you getting, how is it that you got out of something? What did you get out of? Because this ancient wisdom is upside down. This person is blocked. This person who thinks that they're a contender, they were using this masculine as a pawn, but this person was stupid anyway. They were using them as a pawn to try and find something out. Please don't lose hope. They wanted you blocked. An important end, a new beginning. This feminine energy sees themselves as a contender. They compete against this queen of pentacles, maybe in the same industry, or maybe it's just to do with um, the gifts that you have been given, the gifts that you were born into. An important end, a new beginning. A powerful energy shift. I feel like there was already a powerful energy shift. And what happened is it sidestepped. Someone went through this portal. This Queen of Pentacles went through this portal. And this is the reason why you have the Eight of Swords in reverse down here with the Death card to the King of Swords. Because this is saying that when this when this Queen of, of um, Pentacles went through this powerful energy shift, this is when blessings are going to start coming in. This is when the blessings are going to start coming in. And this is why whatever they were doing to try and set someone else up to fail when it came to legal things didn't work. And all they did was leave a massive paper trail of what they were doing. And not only what they were doing by targeting this, this Queen of Pentacles, but how they were trying to set this, this Queen of Pentacles up as well. This isn't even just ID fraud or... Um, you know, stealing some money. This is pretending to, this is also trying to get this person put in jail. And what comes around the three fates? This, this, there's blessings upon blessings coming for someone. And I feel like 2020, 2024 onwards is going to be really, really, really auspicious in growth. Really auspicious in growth. And this feminine over here, this person is vexed. Because you've got collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes and energies and you've got time for spirit. This person's been cut off because your sensuality is too, is, is beautiful with sewer um, mermaid. They've been using too much SEX magic. They're, they're too much of a succubi, a succubus or succu um, incubus. They've been using some nasty energy. I was seeing on um, TikTok someone going on about a freezer spell. If someone's annoying you, you can just put them in the freezer. That's a hex, darling. All right. If someone's annoying you, figure out what it is within you that resonates as a wound 
that makes it that that person's actions are annoying and deal with that and heal that and then they won't annoy you anymore because she was talking about uh, neighbors being really loud and rude okay i've had loud and rude neighbors so what I don't invest in that energy. That's their energy. And that was a long time ago when I did invest in that energy. You have to remember that what you put out is what you get back. If you are resonating and vibrating at that level where you are sending out nasty hexes, you're going to end up with neighbours who are nasty because the universe is just providing back what it is that you've put out. Um, I don't know why that came up. I feel like this this feminine over here, this feminine over here is like that. This person here is doing these freezes. Plus, they did something, and it, it's it's not that it didn't work. It's that someone was too strong for it to take hold. This Holy Grail energy coming back again. Somebody is like the sun. Somebody's energy. It's not just your energy field. Somebody's like um their blueprint, their DNA, their whole genetic code, their. The, the, the imprints and codes of their soul was created from the sun or has the energy like a sun or a star or something along those lines. And this is the reason why also they are the queen of pentacles. They are constantly going to be able to manifest what it is that they think, feel and, and act from, if that makes sense. And the more that this queen of pentacles stays in their higher vibrations, and that's not po toxic positivity saying that you ignore when you're feeling sad or angry, but it's being able to see them for solutions and going, do you know what? I feel the way that I feel. I'm going to be angry right now. And then I'm going to process it and go, okay, this is the reason I felt like blah, 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 blah. That's what I mean by staying in the high vibrations. The more that someone here stays in those high vibrations, the more that they are bringing in this good flipping karma. It's created a massive, powerful energy shift. It's blocked out whoever this feminine energy is over there. Whoever they are, they've been blocked out. They've completely lost hope because they know that this important end is coming or this end, this, this important end has come and that a new beginning is, this a new auspicious beginning has begun. I'm sorry, that was really bad grammar, but you know what I mean, right? What we got here? Working too hard. This person been working way too hard. Way too hard way too hard to appear like they don't have um a collision of beliefs styles attitudes and energies that like this person is actually really connected with spirit like um and they're not they're not this person may wear um a necklace like a cross upside down but if you were to ask them why on earth are you wearing that event i just like it for aesthetic What's the aesthetic? What exactly do you like about an upside down cross for aesthetic? Because that's the same as going, do you know what? I just do this for aesthetic because it feels nice with my arm, even though we know that that is attached to, um, you know, a, atrocities that happened back in the 40s, of starting in Germany and going around, the, you know, and we ended up with a war happening there. You wouldn't, you wouldn't adorn yourself with things that remind you of fascism just because I like the aesthetic. It's so cool, I love it. So instead I'm going to wear a cross upside down because it's so cool. No, it's because you're into some really dark-ish, but you do not, you won't say it with your chest. You're not going to turn around and be like, yeah, and? Because you're not as powerful as you think you are. This is reminding me of the reading I did recently where there was someone who was, they classed themselves as a high priestess, but it's just a label. It's literally just a word that they throw around. It's almost the same as when you work let's say you work at any job and you have someone going, yeah, but I'm, I'm the deputy manager. I am, I'm the deputy manager. And I'm, I tell you that you've got to go do that because I am the deputy manager. If you have to keep claiming your authority, if you have to keep stamping your authority down, it means you don't have any authority or it means that people don't recognize you as being in a place of authority. And that's the energy that's coming from this person over here. And you've got to look stifled, bored and stuck. Whatever they sent, this stupid freezer spell or whatever, it didn't work. The past returns for a time, but something come back on them. Something came back on them. What came back? What was it? The natural world needs you. Somebody has got the fey. They've got elementals. They've got some sort of ancient energy. Because this is fairy of the green world, okay? And not all of them talk about fairies. There's some sort of natural... Um, wood nymph i don't know what it is but you don't mess with it because people look at 
when they think of elementals and they think of fairies and blah, 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 they're thinking of Disney, Walt Disney's adaptation, not the Brothers Grimm adaptation. When you read all of those, you know, Rapunzel and the rest of it, and you read the Brothers Grimm, they are grim. They are grim and they're a bit gory and they're a bit, oh my gosh, how is that a story that could be true? Do you know what I mean? I don't know, I keep saying, do you know what I mean? You've also got the, nat yeah, the natural world needs you and count your flipping blessings. Count your blessings. Whatever it is that came over to this person over here who was messing about trying to put someone in a freezer spell, they didn't realise that, that not only do you have a lot of helpers in the natural world, there's a lot of helpers on many different realms that they're not even aware of. I find that like spell work, as much as I'm a white witch and I do protection spells and things like that, spells are just manifestations, right? I feel like there is a certain limitation to the reach of um, a spell when it comes to certain dimensions. And I think I picked up on this in the last reading. There are energies, entities, sentient beings that are, that are in dimensions we don't even know about. I mean, I had a, um, an 18 chakra balance done a couple of days ago. I keep forgetting, we don't just have, you know, chakras up to here. You have chakras that go out into the galaxy, the, the galactic ones. Whatever this energy is, is not something that this person has ever seen, felt or understood. So they, they didn't understand what was happening. And when I say that they didn't understand why, one, this freezer spell just went. And it's not saying that this Queen of Pentacles does not have the power to do that by themselves, because they do, but they have a lot of natural world friends. This is like the essence of the wind, or the spirit of river, or there's something along those lines. It's not, it's, it could be a fae or a nymph, but it is not something that can be properly explained with human language is what I'm getting but it's mother it's mother or it's nurturing or it's grounding and it's it provides that number one with count your blessings goes to the pumpkin patch it provides but it provides with one hand and takes away with the other it's giving me the energy of like um privati which can be seen by Car as one face which is carly ma for example privati is the maker of worlds and the destroyer of worlds. It's something extremely primordial is what I'm getting. And it's connected to you or, this, or to this queen of pentacles. And it always has been connected. Mm -mm -mm. One more card. Anything else we need to know, please? It's time for a treat, you guys. Wonderful idea and aha moment. Something that you did back in October when it came to cleansing off some sort of energy and the way that you handled it is what changed everything. That is what brought in this powerful energy shift. This is the reason why these three fates are in your favor. Wow. This may be why this natural world needs you card. This energy of this primordial thing is coming through now because you are ready. It makes this person, it makes it look like child play when it comes to this person. Time for a treat. What is the treat? What's the treat? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What's the treat? I'm going to go here. What's the treat? I release negative thoughts about myself and my life. Life is a dream within a dream. Literally being able to manifest anything that you want into reality. I have a healthy and stable foundation in my life. This primordial energy coming through, this is like, it's not Gaia, but it is Gaia. I don't know how to explain it at all. But it's connecting or it's, it's making itself known now. And you've literally got 45 and then 44 and then 45. This okay so this kind of for someone here if you work with deities if you are a practicing witch and you work with deities there is a new energy that's coming through that wants to work with you or wants to say hello and it doesn't have to be a deity but it's expansive what i'm getting is that it's extremely expansive this could be gaia it doesn't have to be 
that's why I was finding it difficult to explain what this energy is because it's very expansive and it has life within it and other sentient life within it. And then it has bits coming off. It's giving me the energy of like, um, you know, in the Lord of the Rings, is it Lord of the Rings? No, in, in Game of Thrones, where Bran, um, he's, you know, he can't walk and he's being pulled along and he has to go into that massive forest and he gets to meet the children of the forest. It's that type of energy, but the children of the forest are part of the energies that live within this. So it's like the ancient forest. That's what I'm getting. And the ancient forest is expansive and massive and covers the entirety of the earth. And then think of all of those little sentient beings that live within them, but they are part of that. So this could be Mother Gaia. And you've got to think with elementals or energies that vast, that big and that primordial, there are so many layers and facets and faces and names to it. That is really big. No wonder whatever it is that these people have been trying to do never works. When you have something as expansive, as, as, as old and ancient as this back in you, someone needs to go and walk out in nature. Someone needs to walk out in nature. Life is a dream within a dream. There may be the gift of lucid dreaming. They may wish to help you with lucid dreaming. I release negative thoughts about myself and my life. One of the blessings is going outside. Someone needs to go outside or get themselves a lot of plants. I had a change of scenery. I have a healthy and stable foundation in my life. This is someone's earth star chakra. To connect to Mother Gaia is your earth star chakra. Someone's being asked to balance it or go outside. A running stream or water. Anything else that needs to come out before I go? I use my emotions to fuel my path. And we just had a dream within a dream. I think this energy wants to connect. I am evolving as my soul. I am evolving as a soul when I am aware of my soul's journey. Ra, snakes may be important to someone at the moment. And this is really giving me a lot of grounding energy. I don't know if someone works with Wajet, the ancient Egyptian energy, because she is a primordial snake. And she is seen as a mother. Who is she mother of? I can't remember if she is mother of Isis. She may be mother of Isis. I'm not sure. But it's giving me this as well. I take the path to love and devotion. Okay, so there is a massive up level coming. This, there's, this powerful shift is already happening. It's already happening. I feel like I should leave it there. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to just quickly... No, I'm not going to leave it there then, am I? <laughs> Let me have a look. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. I'm going to get a couple of these and then I'll go. What do we need to know before we go? Any other information before we leave, please? Thank you. You'll be receiving or getting a precious gift. What did I say earlier talking about the Trojan horse? There is something that's coming in that you're not supposed to take, okay? Because it's been sent either by this emperor with the tower in reverse or it's been sent by this fake high priestess in reverse. But either ways, it's supposed to bring in some sort of tower. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, grey or white hair. This emperor could be or they could be dealing with someone with that, yeah, look, forces working against you. I'm trying to bring in some sort of drama. Someone is behaving stupidly, is upside down. So they may be trying to hide the fact that they're acting like this. Good luck. Great happiness. You need to defend yourself. And you are on the road to success. This is why they're doing this. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals, you guys. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated and you'd like to see more and see more of my lovely face, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see just that and when I post. Mm -hmm. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, you guys are very, very awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for your comments, your shares, your likes, your emails. Please know that I am still taking donations for the GoFundMe for the um, cat and dog shelter in Sri Lanka. It is the only dog and cat shelter in the east coast of the entirety of Sri Lanka and they have so many um they're they're wild but they're just street dogs but they don't you know if they get hit by a tuk-tuk 
it's potluck whether or not they live or not because no one's going to take it to the vet like here if somebody if some, somebody knocked over a dog everyone would rush over and would be like oh my gosh we need to get this dog to a vet as quick as possible it's fine we'll all chip in let's do it let's do it in Sri Lanka they can't do that and it's not that they don't love dogs or they don't like dogs or animals or anything like that but animals are used for um for work and they're used for guarding um you know they do have some pets but it's it's a rarity and animals are expensive and in a country where the pandemic hit their tourism so hard that they were left with next to nothing and then a government who takes away the pesticides that helps their rice paddies to grow and they'll end up with nothing how exactly can they also look after all of these animals they literally can't and many do not know how to um this shelter i'll keep it short because i usually waffle on quite a lot but this shelter is run by connie connie is amazing she went traveling however however long ago found a little dog who had an a, a injured neck and nursed it back to health its name was loku um and she has opened up a dog and cat shelter in um honor of this dog and she has 150 dogs in her care at the moment so they're at full capacity they're always at full capacity um and she has 50 cats but she still goes out every day feeds these animals that she sees spends time with them takes the ones that need to go to the vet takes them to the vet which is inland sri lanka which takes hours and hours and hours and it all costs money anyone that would like to help raise a little bit of money to help out the shelter you guys are good souls all of the information for that is down below we started off trying to and i say we because it's me and my sister we started off trying with the goal of 400 pounds that's 450 dollars and we have surpassed that ridiculously and we have made 3600 i'd say um we haven't told connie yet we haven't told her it's going to be a massive surprise we're keeping the gofundme open until the first of march and then we're going to send it over to her and just surprise her um, because it means that she can neuter a lot of the street dogs which actually helps with population control um, she can continue to sponsor families who are interested in taking the dogs in and she runs a program with those who sponsor them so that she can teach them how to look after these animals how to spot when they're not well what to do you know um pays for the dog food pays for the medical bills so it's all really important and it really helps not only these animals but also the the, the community around them if you would like to be part of that just have a look down below if you cannot afford to, to um donate anything that's okay it's all right if you can't it would be so awesome if you could just share the link share it with your friends your family with people that you know hold animals close to their heart because the more we spread this word the further it gets out to more people and the more people that can help okay i'm gonna leave it there if anyone gets uh, a message from me me reaching out through comment section saying you know what's up me it's not me i'm not going to give out my whatsapp because um i'm just not i'm very private and that is not how i do readings i think that's a really strange way to do a reading is over whatsapp um the only way to get a reading from me is by emailing me i've got two emails down below and um i would send you an invoice so that you have that for your receipts and i have it for mine so that the tax man can take that anyone that is reaching out and saying oh what's up me just send me the money that's not me they're hustling my handle for this channel is the cove 111 and for my sister channel the north star tarot it is shine bright 222 so if you look at the handle and it doesn't say either of those then you're not talking to me okay just block and report them thank you kindly i love you all i will see you in the next one bye bye